Would you believe I almost forgot to do this today? Only because it's a little ways after when I normally do it. It's not like the end of the day. It's like 11.30 at night. It's not that. It's just me. Just not doing it during the normal routine, throwing things off. But that doesn't matter. It's still up. It has been uploaded. Challenges daily. That's what we're doing. Sorry, I'm taking a sip. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I've noticed we've been doing daily challenges as of late. And if you get tired of it or want me to try something else, you can by all means suggest things. <clears throat> if you happen to know themes, uh, challenge that a map that either you make or somebody else has made and wants to see me take a shot at it, by all means go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll read them, look at the map real quick, and probably do it. But, for the time being, it's daily challenge. And a challenge daily is what we're doing. I still don't know where this is yet. This is probably New Zealand. Maybe Australia. Now I think it's New Zealand. Um, yeah, end of the week, congratulations, we all made it. Who thought? I mean, these happen whether we like them to or not, so, <clears throat> man, my throat. Give me a sec, I'm going to pause and clear my throat. And by pause, I meant mute it. Um, pretty sure this is New Zealand. Like, I don't know where on the islands, which one, but it's down here, nonetheless. All right, let's see what this says. Poolburn Hotel. It's hosting place of the valley? I can't, I can't read that. Um, this sign might help. If it didn't blur it out, way to, way to be a, a bummer, you know, blurring out all the information that could have been used to me as we are seriously at a 45 degree tilt as we drive down this road. It's very disorienting to me. We're moving at a weird angle. I hate it. I just want to get to this road, see this pipe going overhead, seeing it'll probably say in meters. Yep. <clears throat> 450 meters high. That's impressive. It really throws off your uh, perception. Hey, pretty close. Well, there's Moa Creek. I'm okay with this. Uh, I feel like we've been here before. Because I feel like I've seen Sharks on Golf Club before. I think this is Taiwan. Let me see. No, this is, this is Korea. Hmm. Which one, though? I don't know. I'll just say it's in Seoul. This definitely feels like I've been here before. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat. Ah, very tired. I think I had too much coffee. I'm a little got that overwired sensation. Not much in the way of plans for the weekend. Let's see, what am I doing other than checking out those trail suggestions I talked about in the previous video? Not much. Um. Yeah, I think it's next weekend is Mother's Day. I think there's going to be stuff going on for that, but it's just like a barbecue or whatnot. And I'm still like three weeks out from uh, getting my second vaccination shot. And then potentially 
taking another step towards quote unquote normalcy, doing things which seems like so far, so long ago that that actually happened. I'm ready for it. It's that thing of, oh, excuse me, that thing of change and just being like, hey, I kind of psych myself up for this. I'm ready to, uh, I'm ready to go. Going back, and if I listen to myself right after the uh, work from home stuff hard, hearted, work from home stuff started, and just being like, hey, this will be interesting and fun. <clears throat> I still very much enjoy being able to work from my apartment, and hopefully going forward, if it's not going to be a permanent thing, it, it, it just be like a, a couple of days a week thing would be fine. I'm okay with that. Excuse me. That's the problem when I'm drinking seltzer before I uh, do these. Should probably put a little bit more thought into that, but everything else I have in the house is caffeine or it's kombucha, which is carbonated too. <sighs> it was a weird morning waking up where I woke up and I don't think it. Like, I didn't notice an alarm. I just kind of woke up and I had that, like, oh, it's wake up, get up and do things. Like, that's the way my body was. Then I went and looked at the clock. And it was, like, 3.20, which is still, like, almost 90 minutes before my alarm goes off. And it was very confusing, but I quickly made myself pass right back out. But it was weird. My body was like, yep. It is time to wake up. This is probably Iceland. Those horses are too big to be Iceland, actually. But it was weird how it was all about it. And then when I no, this is okay. This is 100% Iceland. This almost feels like the, air, the road from the airport. Keflavik. Yeah. Which would be like, this is the one. We're heading that way. I mean, the airport is over here, I think. Uh, the 415. Let's see if I can find that. There's a 413. So the 15's got to be right next to it. So I'm just going to click here and be done with it. Well, I guess those turned out to be the horses. I didn't think they were. But let's see what this says. Very much looking forward to being able to travel. Uh, girlfriend made mention that apparently for the first number one again for, I don't know if it was multiple years at least, but I guess Finland was home of the happiest people on the planet. And very much looking forward to maybe going there soon. Doesn't sound like it would be this year. Maybe next year. Um, I don't know if you could say I prepped myself for going to Finland by having this soup. Oh, I forget what it was called. It was basically like a starchy fish soup with some potato. Dill? Maybe leek? It was real basic. Um, I can tell you it does not freeze well. <clears throat> like I can probably Google up the name. Actually, I'm going to do that because I think I'm pretty close to, if not like within 300 points, I'm very close. I'm going to look this up. Give me a sec. Finish. Fish. Soup. Oh. Loki Kato, I probably talked about it before. It's pretty good. Very easy to make. These horses look too big to be the Iceland horses, but maybe I'm just misremembering. <sighs> okay. We're not that far off. I need a sip. <sighs> okay. This is. I'm going to say, if not Cambodia, I'm going to say it's Thailand. I'll click, like, right there. <clears throat> um, 
can I get over here and see what the sign says? Probably says you have to have a membership card to get inside. You know, sign signs everywhere, signs blocking the scenery, breaking my mind. Angkor Wat, yep. Outermost enclosure of Angkor Wat, which I believe is down here, isn't it? It's been a while since I played any, uh, um, what's the word? Civilization. So it could be, uh, in Cambodia. I mean, there's the picture on their flag of the Cambodian thing, but I think it's Thailand. Ugh, now I'm, now I don't know. I'm just looking to see if Cambodia, yeah. Angor Wat. Isn't that like in Phnom Penh? Or is it on the coast? I feel like it's on the coast, isn't it? Maybe not. One game I've been completely <clears throat> into, though, is, I don't know if you're going to remember the name of it, it's like Dorf Romantic or something. And it's just this little relaxing game where you have a bunch of tiles put down. Like, some have trees, some have trains, some are water, some are buildings, some are fields, and you just kind of connect them together. Some of them have, like, hey, this field tile needs to connect to a certain number. And you just kind of build the thing. Very relaxing, nice music. And I don't know, I've been obsessed with it. It's, it's a good way to wind down, I guess, after a long day of, I guess, nothing real old work. Just normal work day. Instead of anything that's too aggravating, stressful, you just put this on. It's got even some nice relaxing music, too. And you just go, ah, this is nice. Very much happy I've got the, I, I'm playing this. This is bugging me. I'm hitting the guess. Okay, it was. CM Reap. That's where Angkor Wat is. I just, for some reason, thought it was on the coast. Mission Lake. Yep. Water, light, power, and at cost for the municipal power plant. Kansas Historical Marker. First re-project. In, our, in Kansas. Could be over here. Um, maybe I can get a town name. This is probably Mission Lake. That doesn't help me. Historical marker doesn't help me either. Bowler rental? Bunch of fried chicken. Downtown Horton. Where is Horton? You're a tiny town, Horton. I'm going to put you over here so I don't forget, but the only reason I'm putting you on the east side is just because, say, it's the first something or other having to do with Kansas, and as people were making their way across the country, of course, they're going to go from east to west, so it would make sense that the first anything having to do with Kansas would be on the eastern side of the state. As compared to the West, it's a uh, bet hedging I'm doing. So we're on the junction of Route 159. There's 169. 160. I need 159, though. Of course, we aren't going to find it. 159. Okay, well, I'm going to put us in Effingham just because it's Effingham. Uh, what was the name of the town again? Did I already forget? I think I did. Uh, it'll say it by the school. Pretty sure. In the 50 seconds I got left. Let's see. Come on. Hiawatha and Nortonville. We're on the junction of. <clears throat> U.S. Route 75. There's Hiawatha. We're in Horton. 
we're outside of Horton. Maybe like right there. Maybe let me let me see if I can find a uh, intersection with a road number on it. But I'm pretty confident in this. 159 takes a bit of a sharp turn. Yeah, so we're like right here. We're on this on this thoroughfare here. Can I maybe oh ran out of time. Pretty good. I'm I'm satisfied with that. Not that far from the B yard. Wow. Pretty uh strong showing that time. Could have been even closer if I happened to remember where A or Watt was, but it's not the way my brain was working. <clears throat> anyway. I know it's another brief one. Apologies as I got backed up by a bunch of other stuff today. I don't want to say this got squeezed, but you know, it, it kind of did. I know it was abrupt this week too, but hey, these weeks sometimes happen. Either way, I'd like to thank you all for your time and watching these. Your comments, likes, favorites, subscribes, all those buttons you click. Very much appreciate it. Um, come back next week. We have more stuff. My brain just stopped working there. I'm kind of tired. Either way, go enjoy your weekend. I'm going to try to as well. See you real soon. Goodbye.